an investigation is underway into what caused a deadly and fiery crash. A car was left so charred that officers couldn't figure out its make or model. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live in Biscayne Park with what else police are saying. Terrell. And this is a crash with deadly consequences. We just learned a second person has died as a result of what happened here. And one of the factors that will be under investigation will certainly be speed. The Miami-Dade Medical Examiner's Office on the scene of a crash Monday evening that turned deadly. Sky 10 was over the area right after the impact. Here you see what's left of that charred car that came to rest in a driveway right in this quiet Biscayne Park neighborhood. The car is in such disarray and bad condition. It was uh, split in several pieces and it, at this time we're unable to confirm the make or model of the car. Investigators know the vehicle is an electric car and it had three people inside when it crashed into a tree on Northeast 119th Street just before one Monday afternoon. Two people were ejected from the car and ultimately rushed to the hospital, but a third person couldn't make it out in time and died in the single vehicle fiery wreck. Detectives have yet to confirm if speed was a factor, but we know the car wrapped around a tree and slammed into a carport outside of a home where it burst into flames. We've recovered uh, some evidence and some video. Right now it's an ongoing investigation, traffic homicide. Uh, we're going to be working with Miami-Dade County on the scene. So again, one person confirmed dead here. A second person died at the hospital, but that third person involved in this very devastating crash is listed in extremely critical condition. But as you can tell, these are very narrow roads here in Biscayne Park, a residential neighborhood where the speed is very limited. But we also know that traffic homicide investigators with Miami-Dade PD, they are helping Biscayne Park get to the bottom of what happened here. We are live in Biscayne Park, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. Okay.